Hold on a minute, Johnny. I thought you said in the last video you wouldn't be watching this series anymore. You said you'd given up. Well, it would appear we're back for round three, wouldn't it? And for any of you out there saying, oh, Johnny, you're just doing this for the likes, you're just doing this for the views, for the subs. I mean, yeah, but you don't have to say it out loud, do you? All right. The hate train is still moving, baby. Do -do! And we're going to start with the obligatory score check. I mean, how else would we kick off this little escapade? Looks like that 7% on Rotten Tomatoes has somehow fallen once again to 6%. How is this even possible? And that 1.7 on IMDb is... Oh, it's no 1.3. <laughs> My neighbour got a better IMDb score that one time he kicked a pigeon. You know, I'm starting to believe the conspiracy theory that this is an inside job and it was made to be intentionally bad because there's, there's no way. A team of creatives with good intentions got together and made something this cataclysmically awful. There's just, there's no way. And I'm guessing the majority of you have heard the rather puzzling news that season two has apparently been greenlit and is now in production. Finding out they're making a season two of the show is kind of like finding out that the guy who broke into your house and stole your laptop also took a poop on your mattress. It's like, you know... Compared to the earlier news, it's not quite as bad, but it's 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 just more bad news, isn't it? Anyway, I have a beverage and a, a fresh pack of props, so uh, it would appear that I'm ready to watch episode three. God help us all. Previously on Velma. <laughs> okay, for those of you saying boo, same joke twice, uh-uh, not this time. That was legit. I didn't edit that one one bit. Okay, it was the same joke twice, but you almost believed me. And if you think that was funny, strap in or strap on, because this episode kicks off with some killer comedy. Let's finally talk about the only thing you've ever really wanted to know about me. <laughs> she got all chunky. She put, she put her chops on it. <laughs> you fed the cat Sophie's prenatal vitamins. Does anyone actually watch it? For, for real? Do, like, apart from people like me, who watch the show to, to dunk on it and make videos, does any, there's no way human beings with most of a brain sit down and watch this for recreational purposes. There is no way. I refuse to believe it. What did the focus groups for this show look like? This. Of course, the question on all of your lips is, Johnny, please tell me what is written on the back of Velma's underwear, and of course, it's smart ass. <laughs> it's kidding, because it's written on it. Yeah, and if uh, Velma falling over wasn't funny enough for you, ah, uh, don't worry. <laughs> they, got, they got punchlines just waiting for you. <laughs> episode three, let's go. I'm so glad these aren't our episodes. Norvel, guess what Daphne gave me? What? Uh, what was that? Norville. <laughs> that is just not how people act. <laughs> like, you got to do them like that. Okay, we kissed, but it's not a big deal. You possibly being gay is a huge deal. For one, it reduces me to a cliched straight best friend. Oh. Can we, can we go back to the days when comedy wasn't self-aware? I, th I think we've had our fill. We've had our quote of everyone, you, Rick and Morty. Yeah, haha. -ha. The Stanley Parable. That was brilliant. It was good. I liked it. Everything after that, can we just forget about it? I want my comedy to be as unaware as Mindy herself. We only kissed because Daphne was trying to stop a hallucination. She gave me my- I'm not too sure what they're going for here. I mean, it's a bit on the nose. Is, is, is it just supposed to be like a little funny haha -ha moment and the two guys are the punchline? Uh, also, I can't help but notice it says uh, bully on the back wall as well. Can thinking too deeply about something that's stupid make you stupid? I think it might. You told your dad? He's a therapist. I thought you might want to talk to someone about whether you like women, or maybe women and one cool guy. What are these characters? Why is Norville so weird? His character is almost more disappointing than Velma. I mean, Shaggy is universally loved. Everyone loves Shaggy. Even people who've not watched Scooby-Doo love Shaggy because of the memes. Norville, though, I have no idea. They took out his personality and forgot to put something back in. I have no idea who this guy is supposed to be. His only job so far in the show has been to tell the audience that Velma is lovable. Rather than writing a character that isn't an obnoxious asshole, they've written another character 
to explicitly tell you that you should love the other character. And in doing so, they've made two unlikable characters. I don't know if this is dumb levels of genius or genius levels of dumb, but either way, it's turning my brain into a cup noodle. Your dad is a high school guidance counselor, the lowest form of therapist. He's worse than the free therapy app I downloaded that's obviously Russian spyware. So lots of people online have been calling the show woke. Now, I can't stand that phrase. I think it's cringe as fuck. Uh, but I'm not too sure myself because so far, the butt of the joke has been two guys kissing a black guy who is creepy and dumb, and school counsellors? <laughs> okay, I mean, seems like an odd group of people to poke fun at, but hey, anyone can get it, I guess. Oh, это Вельма. Интересно, она гей? Okay, I can't keep calling this show unfunny, because that in itself is pretty unfunny, but Jesus Christ, this show is unfunny. Good morning, my students. Good morning, my students. <laughs> yes, very subtle. Uh, okay, I get that he's a white guy, but like, why do the students not like him? They, they love the headmistress, but they don't like the school therapist. I mean, surely they'd only ever have to interact with him if they had personal problems. And they go to him and he try and help them with it. So I don't know why the entire school would dislike him. Seems a bit ass backwards to me, but what do I know? Also, going back to the freeze frame of the students. Now, animators have an incredibly tough job. I would never talk smack about animators. They are made to work to ridiculous deadlines. So I'm going to go ahead and blame the production team for either not paying them enough or not giving them enough time. But it looks like they've been taking tips from Rings of Power as a number of people in this crowd have just been copy and pasted and mirrored. Admittedly, not a lot of people would notice, but I think it says a lot about the, the ethic of the show. Also, I don't know if this is intentional, but that guy there looks like every recess character smushed into one. Your dad is worse for teen mental health than waist trainers. It's it's not even the subject matter. It's just it's just not funny. I know I keep calling the show unfunny, but it's like watching a comedian bomb for 30 minutes straight. It's really rough. And why does Velma have such a vendetta against therapists? You can't tell me. This is supposed to be a likable character. The writers are sat there. They're brainstorming some shtick for Velma to have in this episode. And they came up with, and she keeps dunking on therapists. <laughs> what the f You can't spell mental health without me. You can't spell kill me without me either. <laughs> okay. Okay, does the fact that he's white being the reason he's getting dunked on, does that bother me? No, not in the slightest. Bit cringe, sure. Bit of an easy target, maybe, yeah. But if you think about it, he's holding an assembly to raise like awareness about mental health for the students. And the writers have sat there and written every other character to make fun of him for it, including Velma and his own wife. It's unfunny and it's a pretty shitty message. Got the best of both worlds here. All girls attend a women's self-defense class to protect themselves from any future serial killers. Uh, why don't the boys have to take a don't murder girls class? Because I only have $50 in the budget to combat centuries of toxic masculinity. Okay, if you know me, you'll know I don't give a shit about political opinions. I am here for the funny ha-has and it doesn't go any deeper than that. Look, you want to talk about this stuff? Cool. Doesn't bother me, but you thought the best platform to use to do so <laughs> was Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah, I know. It makes, it makes complete sense when, when I say it. I like that. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Jones, there's like a talking meatloaf here to see you. Velma? I think that's the first actually funny line of the show. Three episodes in, one joke. That's, that's, that's not bad at all. What's tomorrow? Oh no, is it fajita day in the cafeteria? Last year, some kid lost an eye fighting for guac. You know you get those uh, news articles written by AI. They brought us classics such as The rumor come out, does Bruno Mars is gay? My point is, whatever bot wrote that article, they definitely hired to write the rest of this show. I don't know, I see that might be... A little bit hard on the AI there, I think. Anyway, we then have what I think is supposed to be a bit of a girl boss moment, uh, where Daphne beats up a bunch of weedy looking girls. Whoa, go Daphne. You really showed that vitamin deficient girl who's boss. 
Look, I think it's about time that this show told me what I need to become a great therapist. The only thing a therapist really needs is a good cardigan. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to make a note of that. Cheers. Fred is probably innocent. Yeah, but isn't it a little comforting to see a rich white guy get wrongly convicted for once? I'm too distracted to enjoy it. Okay, once again, the, the, the ha-ha white people humor don't bother me at all. But, you, you know, you're going all out on the white jokes. You're not holding back, but you, you kind of, you're playing it a bit tame with everything else, you know. You're playing it kind of easy. I think as long as, you know, as long as you don't have malicious intent, I think you should be able to, to poke fun at everyone equally, but... Uh, you're just playing it safe here. Come on. Hey, stranger. Okay, I think that's enough Velma for today. Make sure you join me for episode four. That video should be coming out very soon. But in the meantime, subscribe, you bitch. And as always, a big shout out to my top tier members. Pozzabon, Flunky, Jax, Brennus, Jindra. And we're also welcoming three new top tier members. Koss, who I had a great chat with the other day. Good to have you. Texas Lawman as well. Great to have you on the channel. And Infinite Dum Dum. Possibly the greatest name we have on our list. Welcome to the channel, my good sirs. And of course, the tier two members. Steve the Goat, Dr. Melsky, Saeed, MG Virgil, Kuno, Sako, Mark, Maiden, Sensei, Fang, Hadziu, Michael Terpia, Yarnwich, Mendicant, Bias, Dagger, D69. Nice. Michael, and we're also welcoming ATS. Also had a, a good little chat with you as well. Welcome to the channel, my dude. Really appreciate it. And of course, a big shout out to the tier one members as well. Thank you each and every one of you who support me in this way. And we are rolling into February soon. So all of your names, are going to be going on the next poster, which should uh, be arriving within the next couple of weeks. So as soon as that's here, I'm going to get that up on the wall. And there we go. Another day, another video. Will you join me for my next one? You better do, you little bitch. But until then, take care of yourselves, guys. And I'll see you very soon.